Hello, I'm Colin from hdcctv.co.uk. In this tech tip video, I'm gonna run through how to add the recorder to the network and then add IP cameras to the NVR. We're gonna add cameras that are connected directly to the unit, ones that are indirectly connected and a mix of two. And then finally, we'll have some troubleshooting for anybody who's still not got pictures up after they've been through this process. Okay, so we'll start off with adding the recorder to the network. So we'll right click with the mouse, go to the main menu, and then network. Now the best thing to do here is set it to DHCP, and then enable this. DHCP will allow the recorder to be set up automatically by the router, as you can see the, the details are filled in here. Um, so that's, that's that. And then the UPNP stands for Universal Plug and Play, and that's the part that sets up the ports that are required for the uh, remote access. So these two things is uh, pretty much all you need to do. And then save that. Right, how to add a camera that's plugged directly to the recorder. On the back of the recorders have a built-in PoE switch so you can connect a camera directly from recorder to camera. This is how to add the camera of that type. So you right click with a mouse, go to main menu, and here is your where your cameras would be. As you can see, we've got nothing there. So to add cameras that are connected directly, the easy way is to go to network, network switch, and change it to auto mode, and then save. It'll warn you you're gonna lose any cameras in there, don't worry about that, that's fine, click okay. Once that's done, go back to display and you'll see camera will appear here and show on the screen. Now we're going to run through how to connect a camera that's indirectly connected to the recorder. So it's going via the router or via the, the network connection somewhere else. So you'd right click with the mouse and go to main menu, network and switch and make sure it's set on manual mode if it's not there already. Okay, and then you, there's a few ways to add it. You can click here, here, here or here. So we'll do this one first, auto assign to IP cameras. That will then search for cameras that are on the network and add them to the system. Okay, another way to add the cameras, delete that one, is to use the add all button. Click on that one, put your password there if need be. Third way to add it is the user defined ad. And add. In this section, I'm gonna show you how to add a mix of cameras that are connected directly and indirectly to the recorder. So the first thing to do is add the cameras that are directly connected. So we go right click main menu and network switch again, and then set it to auto mode. Click OK, and then just wait for the camera to be added. Okay, so that's the camera that's, that's connected directly to the recorder, and now we need to add indirectly connected cameras. So we go back to network and switch, Put it into manual mode and save. And then back to display. Now select either this one, this one, this one, or this one. So we'll just go auto assign and that'll automatically add the cameras. So that's now searching the network and it'll now add any indirectly connected network cameras to the recorder. Okay, this section I'm gonna help you um, fix a couple of problems if, you, if you're not, still not getting a picture after adding the cameras. There's a couple of reasons why that could be. Uh, one would be uh, incorrect login pass password details, and the second would be a wrong code type. So I'll just go through that first. So the code type is, um, is, this is what you'll see when you've got a code type error. You'll have a black screen and an R for record. So it's got, it's got a signal. It doesn't say no camera or offline. It's getting something, but just getting no picture. This is caused by a code error. Uh, 
what that means basically is the recorder uh, range that X-Vision released is uh, 16 channel and 32 channel are H.265 compatible and the 4 and 8 channel aren't. So anyone using a 4 and 8 channel that's getting this error needs to just follow this process. Okay, so we'll, it's camera 1 that's a problem, so we'll, we'll just right click and go into the menu and then we're going to go to record mainstream. Okay, so here we need to change this section here, video code type. So the first thing to do is make sure we're talking about the right channel because this screen relates to all cameras unless you pick the right one. So channel one is the one we want and it's set for 265, we need to set it to 264. So we'll do that and save. And then we need to do that again for the substream. You see it's 265 save that to 264 and same again for mobile stream 264 next area you might encounter if I can just recreate one is a, a password error so if I just delete that one so you'll get this sort of effect offline so it's, it's added to the system but you've got a gray state button there and when you click it username or password error so that's uh, Bit of a clue there so if we go into the edit uh, button this little pencil here add the password in and then it'll pop back up that concludes this video thanks for watching all equipment is available to buy on our website hdcctv.co.uk or you can give us a call on 01952 505 696 thanks for watching Thank you.